All drones, attack! I could never lose you. And I know you don't really want to be turned into a vampire, so... I can't do that. It is time. No, no, don't start talking like that. I will not listen to you saying such things. I do not resent you for not wanting to become a vampire. I know how you are with blood most of the time. I can understand why it may be a bit unappealing. I've been around for quite some time now. About 400 years. Well, it is nice to stay eternally young. Being around for so long can have its downsides too. For example, uh, many of my human friends pass away when I'm just practically getting to know them. Though I must say, I've had a couple of partners in the past, but none of them could ever compare to you. Of course, I fed on them too. But there were various reasons it didn't work out. One of them died. Another one cheated on me with another vampire. And after that, I decided to stop looking for a partner for a while. That is, until I met you, sweetie. You are the love of my life. I hope to stay with you for as long as possible. If you don't choose to become a vampire, and you inevitably pass away, I won't look for a new partner. None of them is gonna replace you. That's how much you mean to me, baby. I love you so much. I'm glad we're in agreement. Hey, baby. I just want to tell you again how proud I am of how brave you were tonight. That it took a lot of courage. And I'm really appreciative of it. But, uh, still. I'll only ask for your blood when I'm really gonna need it. I love you. Oh, uh, hello. I am the one who you were emailing about regarding the open room for rent. I'm sorry to hear about what happened with your last roommate. Some people aren't very, um, considerate of others. But I was glad that we were able to come to an agreement for me to live here with you. I know that in the email we had discussed that when I came over today, it would just be to drop off first and last month's rent. Which is no problem at all. But I... Well... I was just so excited to be living here. That I went ahead and brought all of my stuff along as well. It's just downstairs. I hope that's okay. You just seemed so kind and understanding when we were talking. So I assumed that you would be okay with it. You see... Well, it's just... I was very worried that if I didn't hurry up and move in ASAP, that someone else... You know, like another girl, might come and try to take my place. And since we already had an agreement, I didn't want any chances for that to happen. That's okay, isn't it? In fact, to prove how much I'm committed to living here with you, I didn't just bring first and last month's rent. 
I brought enough to pay for the entire year in full. Here. It's all in there. You can count it up if you like. I've got a pretty good savings account from my inheritance. And I've been saving up any extra income that I make from the bookstore in my spare time. But, like I was saying before... Yeah. Hopefully that's enough to prove to you how ready I am to commit to living together. Oh, uh, I, I didn't mean for that to sound so forward. I, uh, well... Uh, I, if I'm being honest... Even though this is your first time meeting me... Well... I've known about you for quite some time. I've seen you around the local cafes in the area. And you've come into the bookstore a couple of times. I never introduced myself because I was too embarrassed. And I thought you might not like a girl who works in a bookstore. But I asked around and a friend of yours told me your name. I looked you up online to see if you had any social media pages. And that's when I saw your advertisement looking for a roommate. As luck would have it, I just happened to be in the market to move out of my old apartment. My lease is up at the end of this week, and I was starting to get worried that I might not find a new place in time. But then fate just seemed to bring us together at exactly the right moment. You might even say that it seems like we were destined to end up living together. It might sound strange, but I could tell from the first time that I saw you that I was meant to be very close to you so that I could keep an eye on you and make sure that you don't make any bad decisions. For example, I, um, well, I did a little research and I know that the reason that you're looking for a new roommate is that you recently got broken up with by your girlfriend. She lived here with you and paid half the rent. So not only did she break your heart, but she also left you with twice as much to pay every month. That's pretty selfish and rude of her if you ask me. But don't worry, I would never put you in that kind of a situation. If nothing else, I'm extraordinarily loyal. When I promise something, there's nothing that can get in the way of me keeping that promise. If you don't mind me saying, I think that you deserve much better than her anyway. I mean, it's just... I think that you deserve to be with someone who understands you and will look out for you, you know? She didn't understand you, and she left you without someone to pay half the rent. You would never experience something like that with me. I wouldn't have ever walked away from a relationship with someone as kind and understanding as you. I don't think that she understood exactly how much she lost on the day that she left you. If you'll beg my pardon, I'd even go as far as to say that she acted quite stupidly when she let you slip through her fingers. She didn't deserve you. Someone like her could never deserve you. And, well... That's why I'm so happy that you decided to take me up on my offer to let me live with you. I can show you exactly what it means to have someone loyal by your side. No matter what. I... I can treat you the way that you deserve to be treated, you know? I think that this will be very good for you. Very good for both of us. I need to go downstairs and start bringing up my things. Oh, uh, when I'm done unpacking this evening, I'll show you my gratitude by cooking you a delicious home-cooked meal. Doesn't that sound wonderful? You have nothing to worry about anymore. Now that I live here with you, you'll never be lonely again. <laughs> Come along, little one. We still have much to see. And I wouldn't want you to become lost. Adorable as you may be, 
these creatures may see you as a snack without me around. There is nothing to fear by my side, my cute little child. Not only am I showing you to the hidden wonders of our home, but I am also presenting you to all the creatures that share it with us. Now, with me walking by your side, they will recognize you as my baby instead of hunting you down straight away. They will see your gentle nature and consider you a friend. They will cherish and protect you, just as I will always do. You will never be lonely or unsafe in these woods, I promise. That's right. Never ever. In fact, I can prove it to you right now. Look straight ahead, and you will see a big wolf den called Lupine Alley. One of them is already interested in you, it seems. Why not go up and introduce yourself? I'll be right here, don't worry. You can gently reach out the back of your palm so she can smell it and understand that you're not a threat. See? She already likes you. Her name is Saiga, by the way. Normally, she is a hunter, with fast legs and vicious teeth. Yet, here she is with you, holding her paw up to you, like a pup craving attention. I think it's safe to say, she considers you a friend already. Why do you thank me, cutie? All I did was introduce you. Your natural charm and innocence are what won Saga over. And now she can run back to the den and brag to the other wolves how she got to meet the dragon mommy's child. You'll be the greatest celebrity of the forest before you know it. How do you feel about being the popular kid? <laughs> well, you'll get used to it. Once the creatures in this forest get to know you, everyone will want to give you attention. But don't forget that mommy does it best. Come here, sweetie. That's a good baby. Let's keep walking. Remember that I don't want you to leave the cavern all by yourself. At least for now. Even though the residents of these woods may recognize you, not all of them are always friendly. Some creatures do indeed live for hunting. And I don't want you to get lost in these areas. I'll probably let you roam around the forest only after a few months. Once you make enough friends that can protect you when I'm not around. And once you learn what areas you should never go to. Look, this is the Peace Meadow. You can consider this a safe place. No harm ever happens here. All creatures, whether they are predators or prey, live here in peace with each other. Even dangerous and strong wolves sometimes cuddle with tiny cute bunnies here. 
There must be something magical about this place. Maybe it's the history. Maybe it's the purity of the nature. Maybe even the moon covering the whole meadow with its light and looking so beautiful from here. During the day, this place is much livelier. Now though, since it's night, most of the creatures came back to their homes or herds. We might end up having a picnic here at some point, if you're down for that idea. Right now, however, let's keep going to not disturb the peace. <laughs> 